is there an ideal narrative medicine student? You might be a mid-career health professional who wants to bring a health humanities program to their own educational institution or to their own clinical practice. You might be an undergraduate student looking toward a career in everything from public health to medicine to nursing. There is really a variety of students in our program and it's that variety that makes our program so rich and so fruitful. Clinicians of all kinds, again, doctors, nurses, social workers, have to learn lots of scientific material, lots of procedures, lots of technical knowledge. And it risks their losing the capacity to talk in ordinary talk. And they kind of, it's not their fault. This is part of becoming a professional. So narrative medicine is trying to help them relearn how to talk ordinary English or whatever language they start with. I feel like I just learned so many different ways to listen. There's so many different ways in which you can listen. And in medicine, that's so important because fundamentally, I think the medical encounter involves listening, first and foremost. It is right now very difficult to recruit clinicians to do this work, and I thought that if narrative medicine was a way to decrease burnout, um, this would be something important to do, and then to teach. I thought it would be helpful and important, not only for me to learn tools to prevent burnout, but also to be able to teach it to the residents or to clinicians who may be interested in uh, the field. A lot of people in academia, I think, are excited about someone who has a sort of enriched appreciation for what doctoring is in society and what medicine can be. I think um, people in academia are excited about having residents who can engage with society and culture on a lot of different levels than just science and just medicine. As we welcome each new class, of master's students and the uh, certification of professional achievement students. We are happy to see many mid-career professionals. These are nurses, social workers, doctors, uh, business people, marketing people, persons who have established themselves within a profession who are now able to bring their skills to our uh, work and also who can transform their own practice after their training.